Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video guys, I'm going to tell you how to install a speaker onto your Bluetooth receiver, which I have installed in my previous video onto my drone guys. If you have not seen that video guys, I will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out. In addition to that guys, I will also be telling you how to turn on and turn off this speaker remotely using your flight controller guys. So ensure that guys, you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share. Before we move further guys, if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos let's get started so guys before we start with the installation let me walk you through some of the technical details which you would need to understand the circuit diagram and the process to install this speaker and control it remotely guys as you know guys from my previous video since i was installing this bluetooth module onto my drone guys these are the two outputs that came out from one of the audio output that you have on your bluetooth receiver guys so the orange wire here is positive and the green wire is negative guys. So respectively, I will be putting this as an input to my audio amplifier that I have here. This is a small form factor, five volt, two watt output audio amplifier that I'm going to use. It has a left and right channel input and the ground for the audio. And then you have a five volt power supply and then you have left and right channel output from this side. So this is going to be the amplifier that I'm going to use, which is going to be connected onto my speaker. So audio input will come from these two wires guys. And then I will have a five volt supply, which I will be turning on and off using this transistor guys and then I will have output from one of the channel that is there on this chip guys to connect this speaker so that I can play so audio will be transmitted from this Bluetooth module guys and it will be amplified using this chip and then there will be an output to this speaker using the output of this audio amplifier guys so that is how i'm going to connect this speaker onto my bluetooth module using this 5 volt audio amplifier so guys now let's quickly solder all the components so guys now let's quickly start with soldering the wires onto the audio amplifier like i told you guys this is your audio input this is your power supply this is your audio output so let's quickly connect the wires so let's start with 5 volt because that is what it is going to be connected to the 5 volt output from my flight controller guys so let's quickly do that So as you can see guys, my five volt is now connected. Now let's quickly connect the audio input pin guys. Here you have left channel, right channel and the ground. Let's quickly connect. I'm going to only use one of the pin guys out of left and right channel because there is only one audio output coming out of Bluetooth audio receiver guys. So I'm going to connect only left and the center. So as I told you guys, orange is your audio output and green is your ground. So green will go to the center and orange will go to either left or right. So let's do that quickly. So let's first connect the green, which is going to the center. As you can see guys, my green wire is now connected. Let's quickly connect the orange one. Orange one, I'm going to connect it to the right channel guys. So I will put it like this. As you can see guys, my red channel is also connected. So my right channel is connected onto the orange wire. Now let's quickly connect the speakers onto the output. So guys, this red and black wires, which are coming out here, guys, which are the speaker wires, let's quickly connect it to positive and negative respectively. So the red goes to positive and the black goes to negative. Let's solder them quickly. Solder the red wire first. So as you can see, guys, the red wire is soldered. Let's quickly connect the black wire as well. So here guys, my speaker wires are connected as well. Now let's quickly connect it to the flight controller to power supply ground and then the signal wires. Now guys, to connect it to the flight controller guys, as you can see, I have S6 VX and ground, which is available as of now free on my flight controller guys. My S6 is going to be my signal pin and VX and ground is going to power. Let's quickly tin the ports. So S6 VX. and the ground so let's also tin the ground so as you can see guys all my ports are not tinned now let's quickly connect the wires 
Now guys, let me walk you through on how to remotely operate this amplifier using this optical switch. This optical switch is called CNY70 component guys. This is a switch which will be able to drive power on and off onto your amplifier using the PWM signal or the power signal coming out of the flight controller guys. The way it works guys is it has one side is an infrared LED guys and the other side is your NPN transistor. When your infrared LED is turned on your infrared transistor start flowing the current. So as per the pin diagram goes onto the front side guys where you have the text that is the side where you have the NPN transistor and that is where you connect the load and onto the back side guys you have the driver or your infrared led so to turn on and off the infrared led you need a ground and a power signal the back side right pin is your ground the back side left pin is your power supply that is coming from the signal wire which is orange which is connected to my s6 port here guys so that is how i'm going to turn on and off as and when you have a signal on s6 your infrared led will turn on and onto the front side guys you can see you have the load guys so the load will be on to the left side you will be connecting the 5 volt supply which is coming out from my flight controller using this brown wire guys and the load is your amplifier itself it is the red wire which is coming out from the 5 volt input of your amplifier so that is going on to the right side guys so that is how i'm going to connect and the ground wire i have already connected this is the green wire which is going to be there so between the ground and the the ground pin of your led there has to be a 100 ohms resistor guys so i'll be connecting the back side left pin is going to be my signal wire and the orange the front side left pin is going to be brown and the front side right pin is going to be my red wire. That is how I'm going to connect. So let's quickly do that. So this is the 100 ohm resistor guys. Now let's quickly connect it to the this pin that I have. So this is the ground pin guys. So I'll be connecting this 100 ohm resistor with this ground pin. So let's do that quickly. So as you can see guys my 100 ohm resistor is now connected now let's quickly connect the ground wire here onto the resistor so as you can see guys my ground wire is connected so now let's quickly connect the signal wire guys so my signal wire is also connected guys now let's quickly connect the power and the load power is going on this side guys and the load on this side so let's do that quickly so power is brown so power is connected. Now let's put, quickly put the load. Load is going to be here. So as you can see guys, the switch is already connected. As you can see guys, all the wires are now connected. Now let's quickly shrink it using the shrink gun. So you can see guys, all the wires are now shrinked and ready to be installed. Now let's quickly twist them so that they stay together. So guys, my wiring connection is finished. Now let me quickly hide this sensor onto the side behind the camera so that it does not interfere with anything else. So my wiring is finished guys. So this is it guys. This is how you remotely operate your amplifier using the flight controller guys. So this is it guys. This concludes this tutorial. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, please do not forget to hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I will try and answer as soon as possible. If you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching and clear skies.